Latest political news. Liz Truss urged very disruptive stamp tax cuts for all but billionaires. Liz Truss was asked to cut a very disruptive stamp tax on everyone except billionaires as part of Friday's mini-budget. John O'Connell, who said that the small state idea was at the heart of Truss's successful Tory leadership campaign, said, Increasing stamp duty so that only millionaires are paid means more people living in homes that are too big or too small can move and workers can move to new jobs more easily. Stamp duty government may see changes among measures approved in Friday's mini-budget by Liz Truss as the government seeks to boost economic growth. The Times reports that top perhaps Liz Truss and Prime Minister Kwasi Korten want to cut stamp duty to stimulate economic growth. The Conservatives have avoided this for years. Remember when Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced that he would be exempt from stamp duty on property purchases worth up to £500,000 for a temporary period during the pandemic? Who can forget that he promised to cut stamp duty when he ran for Tory leadership in 1944? It's like stepping on a place you're afraid to step on. This is a fat Tory right-wing government, an improvement on the relatively skim versions of David Cameron, Theresa May and Boris Johnson. It's a big gamble, but Truss is happy to take it. Molly Russell's father says his daughter is full of prospects and potential as the death inquest of a schoolgirl begins. Her 14-year-old girl from Harrow, North London, committed suicide in 2017 after seeing material about her self-harm and suicide on her social media site. Molly's father, Ian Russell, has accused Meta-owned Instagram, formerly known as Facebook, of calling his daughter just six days before she turned 15. We targeted to determine if we were overwhelmed by content viewed on apps like Pinterest. Zelensky. President Putin will not use nuclear weapons. Sue said he did not believe that President Putin would use nuclear weapons. I don't think he will use these weapons. I don't think the world will allow him to use these weapons, Zelensky told German television station Bild. Instead, he said Russia will do everything in its power to defend the territories it plans to annex to Ukraine, through a mock referendum. Western countries should be prepared to see Putin's nuclear bluff. I don't bluff, says the man with a pair of fours, a seven, an ace and a queen of spades. Of course, these can still do damage for example in a pair game or sweat is Betty. Putin's trump card, he wants people outside the country to pay attention, he's an ace. Russian nuclear weapons. He sees the threat of using such weapons as the easiest way to drive a wedge between President Zelensky and his outside supporters, he thought it could even wreck a makeshift alliance in support of Ukraine. In his speech this morning, President Putin's reference to the use of nuclear weapons, which is primarily for external consumption, can be taken with caution as unlikely. Prime Ministers Liz Truss and Prime Minister Kwasi Korting are poised to announce a mini-budget stamp duty reduction on Friday. Ms. Truss will reportedly announce plans to cut stamp duty this week in a bid to radically shake up the unpopular tax. The Prime Minister and Mr. Corning are believed to believe the reduction in stamp duty will boost economic growth and bring more first-time buyers up the property ladder. It's been a year since the end of the stamp duty holiday that propped up the housing market and pushed house prices to record highs during the pandemic. The tax credit initially increased the zero-rate stamp duty margin from £125,000 to £500,000, allowing the purchaser to save £15,000. Bank holidays he has been cut to the £250,000 threshold, saving up to £2,500 in stamp duty in the last three months.